Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Little Soldiers Storytime. Today my name's Renee and this is Ethan and today we're going to read a book One Minute Silence and this book is about a minute silence that you can imagine a long war gone. You can share with the soldiers and saw how they felt and what they fought for. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this book is by David Metzenden and illustrated by Michael Camillary. Okay. One minute silence. In one minute silence. You can imagine the grinding in your guts as the ironbark bows of the Australian boats bump the stony shores of Gallipoli on the 25th of April 1915, when 12,000 wild colonial boys dashed across the shivering Turk sand in the pale light of a diary farm's dawn lashed with flying lead. But you can imagine in one's minute silence, lines of young Turkish soldiers from distant villages, hearts hammering, standing shoulder to shoulder in trenches, cut like wounds, firing on strangers, wadding through the shallows, intent on streaming into the homeland of Turkish people. In one minute silent, you can imagine the boys from the back of beyond and the blokes from the big smoke, mad scrambling up the steepest of the Turkish slopes making tracks and marking maps with skidding boots and bursts of blood as they blasted and bayoneted their way through the scrub. But can you imagine in one minute silence how the Turks fighting for their land and their lives felt when they saw the enemy battleships anchored in the bay, slouch-hatted strangers swarming towards them with rifles? I knew that it was going to be a fight to the death. In one minute silent, can you imagine the bare knuckled bushman of the Australian light horse, ten seconds away from running at the Turkish machine guns, turning to each other to say, see you later mate. Then going like mad until just about each and every one was stopped dead in their tracks. But can you imagine in one minute silence when it was the Turkish soldiers who charged again and again until the ground was strewn with thousands of dead and dying men? And all the cries of the wounded in the words of the Anzacs did not know but understood filled the sky and reached the sea. In one minute silent, can you imagine the solitary day in which these men met without weapons, sharing cigarettes and shovels as they buried their dead in the cool Turkish earth, and the sound of the wind and waves and quiet talking replicated the crack, boom and blast of war. But can you imagine the fierce Anzacs and the fighting Turks quietly returning to their trenches after this one day of truce? then firing at each other that afternoon, although they truly knew that the other men were not so much different after all. In one minute silence, can you imagine what the Turkish fighters felt when they knew they could hold the high ground and the rain that lashed them felt like tears of joy? Can you imagine in one minute silence the moment when the bloody diggers finally reached the razored heights of Gallipoli where the lone pine grew? To see the haze Turkish horizon was impossible to reach as a castle in the sky. Can you imagine in one minute silence, as the Turkish fighters stood strong and straight in their freezing trenches, that the dream they had dreamed of going home circled like a dove that might soon settle in their quietened hearts. In one minute silence, can you imagine the Anzacs strengthening their front lines as if to fight through every hour of every day of the bitter Turkish winter. Yet in secret they were preparing to leave the cliffs and beaches of Gallipoli seven days before Christmas in 1915. 
But can you imagine in one minute's silence as the Turkish fighters looked down from the cliffs that the Anzacs were binding their boots in cloth, leaving presents and notes, and rifles rigged to fire, and about to make their way to the sea and the waiting ships? In one minute's silence, can you imagine the great core of crosses and the Anzac left behind, and the promise given to never forget the boys who would not wait to the hushed footsteps or the whispered farewells? But can you imagine in one minute's silence when the Turkish soldiers rose that morning to discover there only remained the perfect lack of sound of a war that had ended? There you go. It was an interesting book, wasn't it? Yeah. What did you like most about that book? I don't know. Were the pictures pretty interesting? Yeah. And pictures of the bullet in one of them and the blowfire? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to One Minute Silence and tune in again next time to RSLWA for Little Soldiers Story Time. Bye.